So, I did carry on my wayward son the other day. Part of my supernatural fam. And I got some love from it, which I appreciate. I know we're all dreading it. And you all hope it ends happily, but it's not going to. <laughs> They're going to die. <laughs> she needs a... This is, I, this is how we met. I, like I said in the video, this is how me and Danny met. And I don't know, that was what, like six years ago? Seven yeah. years? It's been a while. And we've been besties ever since. Um, If you didn't know, which I've been trying to tell you people to go watch uh, The Tiger, Jensen Apples, because it's entertaining. If you didn't know, now you know. Jensen Ackles can sing. Yep. When, when he allows himself to let it out. He gets a little shy every now and then. Um, but him and his friend Steve started their own record company label. I'm not sure what the hell you call it. And they released an album called Radio Company Volume 1. And I'm going to be doing Let Me Be. And we're going Jensen to... Jensen wrote it. <laughs> Jensen wrote it. And we're going to listen to Jensen Ross Ackles and his spectacular voice that he gets a little shy of sometimes, which I don't know why. Um, I'm having way too much fun with this. If he knew I was reacting to this, he'd probably be horrified. That's probably why I'm having fun with it. So bring <laughs> it on, Ackles. I didn't hear this song, but I haven't heard it in a while. So it'll be interesting to break it down. But let's do it. Just Ackles, let me be. Toby's already like, alright. <laughs> so now I'm over here jamming. I always love to dive into Jensen's voice because he does lots of covers at the Saturday night special thing they do at conventions. And I've heard him sing Chris Stapleton, Eric Church. You know, he tries really hard with Chris Stapleton, but, you know, it's hard to emulate Chris Stapleton. Um, he does Ranking Ball by Eric Church very well. Um, Sister Christian is probably one of his best covers. Yes, that's a really good cover. And Whipping Post. Yeah, well, and Simple Man is good too. Um, so, it's like, okay, describe Jensen's voice. Jensen... His voice, as he talks, is already really deep. He has a deep voice. And I think it came with the territory of being Dean, because Dean has a deep voice. So he kind of adapted to his regular voice, and it's mixed. The Dean Winchester and Jen Snackle voice, it's mixed. He's also, he's also a Texan. Um, he lived in California for a while, but he's home in Texas, and he's a Texan, and he'll always be a Texan, so we know he has the twang going on for him. And so, with the gruffness of his voice and the twang of the countryness, you really get Southern rock when you listen to him. Mm -hmm. No matter what he's 
performing what cover song. I listen to this man do Christmas songs and it still sounds like Southern Rock. <laughs> yeah, he's my Christmas right home. Um, he, he has a talent that he used to not let out at all. Um, God, Toby's really going on in there. He did the wait by the band one time, and uh, I think the very first time he did it, he was really nervous. He was. And um, he's finally coming out of his shell. Oh, yeah. He's starting to realize, okay, I'm not as bad as I think I am. And um, he's starting to learn his musical talent to his child, JJ. And they have little jam sessions too, which I think is adorable. Father-daughter moments. So, for me to describe Jensen Ackles' voice, I would say it's gruff. And it's raw. And it's country. So, when you put it together, it's rock. You get southern rock. It's like Leonard Skinner. Yep. And me listening to this, I can picture his face as he sings it. Because when Jensen sings and he gets into it, he closes his eyes, his head falls back, and he just lets it go. Yep. So I can already picture him in the studio with the headphones on doing the song. And I love the choir in the background. That was a great addition to the song. Very smart of him to put that in, even early on in the song. Yeah. So, those are my first thoughts. She's swooning already. Oh, I know what they told you the boy could say. So, I don't, she acts like I didn't know. You didn't. I've heard him sing before. I just said I didn't think he could sing Stapleton. And he shouldn't try. At least not that one song, Midnight Train to Memphis. He can do Tennessee Whiskey, but that one song's hard. Well, that's because Tennessee Whiskey's not a Stapleton song. No, it's a David Allen Co. song. Then it was a George Jones song, and then it was a Chris Stapleton song. There's you some history. Let's get back to it. <laughs> Guitar, him or Steve? I'm assuming Steve. Steve Carlson is Jensen's friend and co creator. I don't know what you call it. They're partners in this company. Um, also, what's in this blue cup is sweet tea. I promise I am not drinking on the job. This is my blue cup. You've seen it before. Um, it's sweet tea. Not drinking on the job. Um, uh, the jazziness, whenever it comes in, reminds me of New Orleans, which reminds me of his wife, Danielle, because she's from Louisiana. Yeah. And he does love New Orleans. Yes. So, I can hear the influence of that in there. 
as well. Which I love. I'm not a Saints fan, but I like that you can hear that in the music, which reminds me of Daniel. Well, I mean, you know, New Orleans is more than just the Saints. They don't think so. Um, Come at me, Saints fans. You know where I live. You know who I go for. She lives in Mississippi and goes for the Patriots. Ask her how she feels about Tom Brady right now. No. Who that? Actually, you should ask her about Cam Newton. No problem who that. That's a talk for another time. Yep. Let's get back. And I don't think that was Jensen. I think that was Steve. No, that was Jensen. Was it? Yeah, we're totally rewinding I couldn't, it. I couldn't hear it. We're totally well. rewinding it. We're going back 20 seconds. Okay. This is the first time I've ever done this. I usually don't re rewind songs because I'm always afraid that I'm going to get it axed off YouTube. I don't care. This was Jensen singing this part. I'll turn it up just a little bit. That's why I was like, ooh, the breakdown, because his voice sounded great. You may care for me, say all that for me. You said, no one way. Oh, yeah, I just couldn't hear it, so it didn't sound like him. But when you played it back, I could hear it. Congratulations, Jensen Ackles. You are the first ever video that I've done that I actually rewinded it to hear a part again. Well, it's because it's Jensen. He's special. At me, people. At me. Her Instagram is at DWTopperFan. At me, I don't care. We're huge Jensen Ackles fans. So, um, we have a fan page of him and his wife. People think we're them all the time. I don't know why. We are not them, as you can see. I'm a girl, but it's not Danielle Ackles. My name is close, but not. Her name is Danielle, not Danielle. And Danielle's not even her first name. No. It's not her first name either. Nope. Um, so, check that out. It's called Jensen and, you know, the and sign, Danielle Ackles. Maybe that's why they think we're them, but we're not, and we're not affiliated with them in any way. No, Facebook just won't let us change the name. I've had the thing for seven years. It almost has 50,000 locks. I can't believe it. Uh, uh, but check us out on that. We'll share it on the page, this video, as well. 
and we'll probably radio put... company is the name of the group their yeah. company whatever it's not a group they kind it's, of are it's a group effort it's a, effort. Big, it's a duo uh jensen will be releasing another album so he says he he said that um I don't know if it's with Steve or just by himself. I don't know if this is going to be Radio Company Volume 2. I'm willing to do Jensen Ackles anytime. God, that yeah. sounded wrong. <laughs> that is not what I meant. He is a married man. I love him, but... Not like that. Yeah. It's gone way past that for me. Like, he's a nice looking dude, but... I'm not sexually attracted to him. Dean, on the other hand, I'm sexually attracted to. Yeah, I know he's fictional. Leave me alone. Yeah, I understand, girl. Which is why we work. I like my nerd. Um, anyway, I will listen to any Jensen song. So, you fans out there, I'm talking to y'all. If you have a song, even if it's live, and if, if I can find it on YouTube or on Spotify, I will do my best and I will react to it because it's Jensen and he deserves um, recognition and to be put out there. He's not just an actor. He's so much more. So much more. He's a husband, a father singer, director, Provider, director, it's ridiculous, it's a long, it's a long list, um, we love him, heart, I'm giving him a heart, my heart suck, I need to like cut out a heart so I can like show it, heart, <laughs> um, like I really can't make it with my hands, which one of them, didn't they both have a problem making a heart, no I couldn't do it, no Jerry couldn't do it, yeah, Jared can do it. His hands are too big. Um, but I heart them both. They're my boys. Like I said in the Carry On My Way Word Son video, which she refuses to watch because she said she'd cry. Because when they play the song, somebody dies. So. But she was very willing to do this with me because she loves and adores Jensen as much as I do. So, this will be a fun video to post on our page and a fun video to post on the channel. And um, I would love to see my Supernatural family show up and give it some love. Give Jensen some love. Jay, we didn't even break down the song. We just talked about his voice. I don't need to break it down. He says, let me be. So, let him be. <laughs> Whoever is stalking him, let him be. It's the fans, people. It's the fans, not me. I really don't know. He said, let him be. Let him be. So, we're going to let him be. Um, he does have a great voice whenever he allows himself to open up and be great. But I think Shy Jensen's about out the door. Yeah, Rod well, started dancing in the house. So, that was a good video. We had fun, and I think that's the most she's ever talked on a video. Yep. So, I'm really proud of that for her because this is not something that she normally does. And I try to get her to open up as much as I can on certain things. So, apparently, Jensen was the key. Got it. All right. Thanks for listening to us ramble and drool over Jensen and Dean and Sam and Jared. I make him sound like they're all different people and they're not. Too fictional, too real. Um, but I love my supernatural fans. My family. Except the crazy ones who <laughs> I don't know. I'm not going there either. Another video for another day. Yep. We'll be back later, guys.